Hello everyone and Happy New Year to you all. Wow, it is such an honor and a privilege to have this opportunity once again to share God's word, to encourage your faith, to help you build your faith in a whole new year. That's nothing but God's faithfulness right there and His grace. That's kind of what this video is about. Simply to tell you and to remind each and every one of you that He is still faithful. I'm talking about the God we serve. That's right. So let's get right into it. Wow, it is so amazing to consider the fact that we just ended a year that many of us did not anticipate or expect would create a certain level of chaos, heartache, frustration, pain, anxiety, depression, destruction, you name it. 2020 was rough and tough for many. And we're still not out of the clear, even as we entered into a new year. But one thing we do understand, when we do enter into a new year, there's always hope. Hope for a new beginning, hope to start over, hope to change our ways to change something that we didn't do before. And so I pray that this video encourages us to do just that and more. Today, I want to deal with the book of Lamentations, particularly in chapter three. Lamentations was written by the prophet Jeremiah. And it's in this particular passage of scripture where Jeremiah begins to expose his emotions. Right now, what he is dealing with he is dealing with uh, feelings and emotions of, of anguish as well as hope because the city of Jerusalem basically is ruined. It is, it is dead. It, 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 is, it is lying in ruins. It has been destroyed. And so Jeremiah, he triumphantly cries out. And if we read in verse 23, he tells us, Great is thy faithfulness. Mm. Because Jeremiah, throughout all the devastation, throughout all the destruction, throughout all the death, the heartache, the pain, everything that happened, everything that he witnessed, everything that the people of Jerusalem went through, Jeremiah still came to a place where he was able to turn tragedy into triumph of faith. Wow, how is it, how is it that a man or a woman, in the midst of death, in the midst of destruction, in the midst of pain, in the midst of heartache and frustration, how do you take tragedy and turn it into triumph of faith? What is it that enables an individual to be able to look at a situation, to go through a devastating situation, a disaster, a tragedy, and yet, have the mindset of, I'm still victorious anyhow. I'm still coming out of this victorious. I'm still coming out of this a winner. I've lost some things, yes. It hurt, but God is still faithful. Wow. What is it that causes a man to think this way? There were two things that Jeremiah was able to consider and recognize here as it pertains to the God we serve. The first thing that Jeremiah acknowledged and recognized is that God never failed him in the past. He has never let him down before. And the second thing is that God promised to remain faithful in the future. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 40 and 41 read, Let us search out and examine our ways and turn back to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and hands to God in heaven. We know ourselves, right? Well, you should. You know the things that you like to do. You know the things that you don't like to do. But more importantly, you know the things that you should be doing. You know the things that you shouldn't be doing. And so this is a period where the writer here, Jeremiah, says, examine, take time, carefully examine your ways. And if there is anything concerning 
your way of life, concerning how you think, concerning how you act, concerning what you do and don't do, if there's anything that is contrary to God's will, then this is where you have to make the turn. You got to make the turn back to the Lord. We're in a whole new year. And as great as it, it, it is, as great as it sounds, we are hopeful, we are excited, and we are not going to lose our expectation whatsoever. We believe God for great things this year. Still, at the end of the day, we don't know what this year presents itself. And so it is necessary to make sure that we are connected to the Lord, that we are following after Him. It's when we are connected like this, we set ourselves up for better success. Despite any other calamities that may come their way, despite any, any destruction or chaos that we may see or witness or experience in this new year, staying connected with God, staying faithful with God is the best thing you can do right now. Because as Jeremiah understood through all that he went through, God was still faithful to him. I often have a saying that I used to say all the time, and I still say it to this day. I say, God, you've never failed me before. I don't believe you're going to start now. And all I want to say to you today is he is still faithful. God is still faithful. He still cares about you. He still loves you. He still desires to do great things in your life. And he has a future for you. He has a purpose for you. There is something better after this, but you got to stay connected to him. You got to stick with him. We can do this if we keep the faith in him. To my brothers, to my sisters, both near and far, I want to encourage you and let you know that he's still faithful. And because he's still faithful, remain faithful to him. I'm Minister Timothy, and you know what to do. Stay safe and keep the faith. And I'll see you in the next one.